Hey guys, I'm Drew Sullivan from the University of South Carolina Athletic Training Program and today I'm going to talk to you about data collection for drug testing for males. Uh, and what I mean by that is sample collection, collecting the urine uh, to be tested. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a stall set up, a private area with a toilet, uh, but you're going to want to make sure the stall door is open so that you can have somebody there to watch the uh, subject to make sure that they're not uh, doing anything that shouldn't be going on, trying to um, forge the test or anything like that. Uh, so what you're going to want to explain to the athlete to do is to go into the stall, start their stream, start urinating into the toilet. Once they start urinating, you're going to want them to stop and then you're going to want them to place the vial under the stream and start urinating again. The vial will have two lines most of the time, a minimum and a maximum, and at least have a maximum line that you're going to want them to fill up to. And so you can see these two lines here. And uh, you definitely don't want them going over the max because that can also lead to other problems. You want to explain to them, do not touch the inside of the vial at any time, and when you're done, just immediately close it, give it to me, and we'll take care of the rest. Uh, and then if they do have any sort of leftover urine that they need to excrete and get out, they can go ahead and do that into the toilet as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks.